I'm Bob Hoffman. It's about time to celebrate the millions of women who played an essential role in helping the United States win World War II. Tuesday is Rosie the Riveter Day at the state capitol. The iconic image was part of a campaign to recruit more female workers. And this week's Good Neighbors tells the story of two local women who were part of that effort. In pictures, which would have been probably 1941, when they were 18 years old. Lansing resident Lark Samuelson and his wife Mary sit down to share stories with their granddaughter about her great-grandmother Ruby and Ruby's twin sister Ruth. And they worked at the Cadillac plant of the Chris Craft Boat Company. Lark's mom and aunt were part of the millions of women who took factory jobs during World War II, producing tanks, ships, planes, and other materials. They left their home in Iowa to make landing crafts in Michigan. The landing craft would just storm the beaches and the troops would scatter. It was, um, she handled the drill um, that, and they actually riveted, they, and they were working on the heavy canvas that covered the boats, I believe. Um, and she would take that and just drill it in. She said we would just lean into it like that. And um, that's what she was doing the day that um, the war ended. And the foreman came in and said, the war's over. We don't need your services any longer. I put it down. I walked out, grabbed my lunchbox, and we went back to the farm. Lark wanted to ensure future generations know about what the Rosies did. A way of honoring my mom and my aunt, as well as the other ladies, many, many other ladies that contributed to that that didn't get the recognition that they had deserved for a long, long time. He contacted Cindy Kangas, the executive director of the Capital Area Manufacturing Council, to tell her the story of his mom and aunt. The council is joining other groups to organize a Rosie the Riveter Day this coming Tuesday at the state capitol. It's time to tell their story. And I think um, most Rosies, if they are still with us, are right around 100 years old. So time is of the essence. We want to hear their stories now so that we can share them with the next generations. They give me courage and hope to do stuff. If you'd like more information on Tuesday's Rosie the Riveter Day at the Capitol, visit our website, fox47news.com forward slash good neighbors.